The horse is here. Hi, you join me for my last Doke con. Uh, what do I expect for this con? Uh, quite a lot. I went last year with Summer and Danny. They can't make it this year, so I promised them like a full on vlog and along with like lots of photos and stuff. Yeah, this is the this is like a pre vlog before the con. I still need a cosplay early, <laughs> so stay tuned for that part of the vlog. Been too long since I've cosplayed this man. Um. My main interest kind of peaked, um, pretty much. <laughs> I haven't been him since 2019. What in the apocalypse is happening? Con backup option for Doki. Um, I kind of I haven't taken Japan to a con in such a long time. I mean, this is like my backup option just in case it decides to. It's meant to be really warm this weekend, <laughs> but I'll see if I'm in the mood on the day, and if not, I'll be early pretty much. Been Sailor Suit Italy in like forever, so this, this is a big opportunity for me. So I'm just like, oh yeah, let me just get this out of the closet and then just be like, yeah, Sailor Suit Italy. <laughs> I'm also wearing it because Doki is gonna be hot. So I'm just like, I grab this out quite quick and then I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this for Doki instead of Japan, to be honest. Much ready. Um, I'm not gonna put my wig on until we actually get to the venue. I've had a bit of a rough night sleep because I made the mistake of having fajitas, and that all it is. I feel fine now, but it might be a little bit of pre con anxiety, but like. I, I can fight it, but like, I think it's more I am excited more than I am nervous. I know for a fact that it's going to be hella busy because it's their last ever con, so yeah. A little bit of an accident on the way here, but I'm okay now. Um, just stay hydrated. And yeah. Who's not answering? Logan! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where is... I don't know! He's not at. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Back here again. <laughs> That's where I am. Yeah. We at the main cafe say hello to vlog. Say hello! Hi! <laughs> Us. Is this who we've got? Oh. So this is, that was me, and then the food's arrived, so, strawberry shortcake, and uh, I'll be in the lines for the chickens later on, uh, and see some food. Keep in mind the, the forehead line. Why is porn here? 
<laughs> and look, I got a little horse to prove it. I can't even with the hair thickness. Um, um, my makeup stayed on. <laughs> whole now, the whole part of con. I'm just sewing it through. But I'm gonna gonna go through the gifts first. So like, these are the gifts from my friends. So this is from Akko Cosplay. <laughs> Thank you for the first image. And this is from Coffee Bot. And then these little guys are badges that I've made and then these are the white flags that I made for Doki so I can like hand them out as it's early. I didn't get them out a lot but I might put them on my Etsy or something but they're there for reference but yeah. Another store's is called Genki Gear so they're like a t-shirt company that sell like really geeky stuff and then this is my t-shirt I wanted to get the t-shirt because it's their last ever con, so that's why I, why I got it in the first place. In merch time, so I've got Mackie, because Mackie is my, now my favourite Danganronpa character. And then I've got Kaito, because I love these shit these two. And then Makoto, and then I've got Gundam, and then I've got Blind Bag Danganronpa ones. I've also got some gifts ones, but I can't really show them on here, because I know for a fact that the gifts for, for the people that didn't make Doki Doki Con, so... And that's why I'm probably... <laughs> be like, oh yeah, I got the gifts, but I'm not going to show them on here. I'm going to check these blind bags real quick. I got... Du, 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 du. I've got Suiche! That's a cool one. Who's on the badge? Oh, it's Kasuichi! That's a really cool badge as well. I really remembered that I got a Terma keyring as well from Genshin Impact, so I just trapped myself to a Terma one. For the artist alley bit, so... I got a fidget lobster. <laughs> I love him. But he's low-key curse. I'm gonna call him Roger. And then this is the freebie that I got from the store because I spent like quite a lot of money and they gave me a freebie on the house so I was like, cowboy frog. <laughs> and then I got a non-binary like purse froggy, so that's like a little purse froggy. And then I got a little flower froggy 
which is really cool. And then I got a little froggy in a jar, which is really cool. And then I got and then buy me frog frog pin. And then I got a little another little froggy ring to go with my other froggy ring. So I, I like I like the froggy rings. Probably were a thing at con. And I picked a cheese up and I started with Natalie Haku, went to Monokuro, Sephiralu, and KO Treasures. I didn't get the other um stamps in time because con was slowly ending and I was like Really? <laughs> and I wish it were more cooler so I could like get the rest of the stamps. But it didn't happen. So speaking of Mo Monokira, um her artworks were really really good. And she does a lot of OCs. And she also did the Doki Doki Monster poster, which is quite cool. And then she's got like a little signed poster for Doki Doki Manchester. And then that's her little background. Her from Slightly Ghosts. So that's Slightly Ghosts. I will show all the business cards at the end of this little haul, but yeah. She takes from Shona Marie, Marie, Shona, I think it's Shona Mary Designs. Yeah, that, that's her card. But I've picked up like three for some reason, so I've got like a little mushroom one. I also got a little pumpkin one, which is quite interesting. Also, this is Doki Doki's map that I just picked up randomly. I'm just like, I picked the map up, but in the in in my own way, I remember where everything was from last year, but it was a lot smaller. So, this is by the same person, but they've given out like free posters for the con, so we're like free to take. It was a bit like a little freebie table on the day. Especially queer, so they do like a lot of D and D stuff. I mean, I just wanted it for the dragon, to be honest. But yeah, they do really cool stuff. Real quick, this is from. I think these are from Kitsu's creations. So I'm planning a bingo cosplay from Bluey, <laughs> and I also got this little cup. So, so that's from Kitsu's creations. Up her business card. I did not pick up Kitsu's business card, but I just know that they're from Kitsu because I know someone who wears quite a lot of their designs. So it's off from Lisa Baggy. So I'll look at their stuff. They do a lot of washi tapes and like a lot of OC related stuff. I also got a. Gotcha. I gotcha gotcha. It's cool. Well, it's really cool. So I love uh, Kaya so illustra illustration stuff. I've got a few stickers here and there. Little squeaky girl. Washi tape. I've got an imperfect goodies bag. Scented out these stickers, but they're kind of like not safe for work. That, that, that's a butt right there. That is a butt. And then there is a big demon lady with big ass titties. <laughs> you guys remember my they them lesbian pin from my Chihiro cosplay? I lost it a while ago, but then I got a lay them. And that was like a gay flag pin, but like. But that's just like the generic rainbow pin. And then I got a they she non binary pin. That's just in case I feel like I want to use they she pronouns or refer to myself as they them. But I can like switch between either and be like, it's it's okay, whatever you call me. <laughs> but sometimes I can have a they she dear. And whatever. Thing is, we were both talking to the guy, well, me and Morgan, and he recently got top surgery, and I'm so happy for him. And he is called, I think his company, I think they go by he, him, or they, them. I'm not too sure. Um, I think they're called Queer and Q. I follow them on Insta, so I'm, I'm gonna leave a link down below in my bio to check their stuff out. And this is the checky that I got from the Med Cafe. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, I recently got, got 
the checky with one of the new maids because I really wanted to see her. And this is going back from like one of the very first vlogs that I did back in the day. I got to see my in at Christmas. So this is this is a new maid called Nezumi. She's a mouse. And I loved the maid cafe. I could have like spent all day in that maid cafe, but yeah. I think this is the end of my haul now. Um I'm just getting through some random bits. This is this is from Sophie Bully. I recommend her. She's really good at art. Also adopted a mushling, so <laughs> that's gonna happen to him. So his name's Cap. He's a field blue it. He's grumpy. He likes solitude, but he dislikes people. I mean, what a mood. I mean, look at him. He's amazing. Wait, a mystery from Frag Bag as well, because I'd be interested. I didn't notice that Steven Universe were a thing, and then I noticed that the Ruby and Garnet print, and I'm like, that's really nice. That's somebody I recognise, but I don't recognise it. Is that like a DD &D character? I, I don't know, I don't know the names. Um, and then there's a little dragon. And then there's a little dragon. If this is, I don't know whether it's Zelda or something else. I feel like it might be Zelda related or something, I don't know. And then I don't know the Switch. For some reason, I don't know her, but I really like them. I like all these friends. Front door. Cap has got a pin. <laughs> so you can go with my for little mushroom guys. That's really funny. All of him. My thoughts and opinions on how con went. I feel like this year's Doki Doki was a lot smaller, in my opinion, than last year's. The only thing that annoyed me was the heat. I did get a little bit heat sick at times. I was heat sick during the night and I was also heat sick before I even got here. I'm just like I was I was nearly gonna be heat sick like before the masquerade but I actually survived. I actually drank like loads of water <laughs> because it's a heat wave and I was very overstimulated to the point where I couldn't like actually function to be honest but I managed to survive this con despite the heat wave. It's just a reminder for me not to attend conventions in the future if there's like a heat wave going on if that makes sense. I really enjoyed the maid cafe and I really enjoyed like the stalls and what is Ali had to offer and I really enjoyed the masquerade even though it was kind of it was kind of like a little bit late in set but I'm so glad that that Toru cosplayer stepped up and was like there's, ki there's kids that, that need to go on on for the masquerade because th they're, they're melting obviously they, they need to go on quickly and I'm kind of glad that she did step in and was like not letting it take too long, if that makes sense. I also apologise for very for being very overstimulated at the time. I just didn't know what was going on. Um, I mean, I managed it. I, I survived it. But I was very overstimulated. The thing is, I'm autistic as well. So heat and autism are, are, are not a good combo. <laughs> They're not a good combo. And... I I needed I I needed that strawberry shortcake in that maid cafe to just like put my sugar levels up really high, so I can like focus and concentrate on the rest of con. But with con being busy, with it being the last one, I got separated from the group quite a few times. I don't know whether I don't know whether you noticed me like film shit on my own, like <laughs> like like a few of the panels I filmed on my own. But I was mostly in my group, but sometimes he gets separated if I get like distracted from stalls and stuff. And that is completely normal. And with Doki being very, very busy 
and very very sweaty and like ugh. the only thing that i didn't approve of was i think that what they didn't have fans for the venue and they didn't have air conditioning for the venue at all so apart from the the where they do exercise there's no go I also want to say there was one drinking fountain you can drink out of and that were it and I had to queue for quite a while for the drinking fountain. <laughs> Yes, I will. Um, it's going to be very sad that uh, convention coming out of the con scene, but it's been fun. I've had a fun, I've had fun two years out of Doki Doki. I should have gone in the past, really, if I knew more about it. But like, I feel like it's like a big loss, unfortunately, but. Their charity is closing, but I encourage you all to donate to that charity as much as, as much as you can. I done it. I donated on the Saturday, just only a pound for their charity, and that is worthwhile. I think more cons should introduce like free water and like fans and stuff, just in case there's like heat waves going on, etc. So I'm going to end this little video and show you guys the business cards and stuff for the end.